Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to see use of pre-chopper and coaxial irrigation aspiration. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The anti-chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now capsulorexis is to be done. I use a uterator forceps to do capsulorexis nowadays. The tip of the uterator forceps pierces the central part of the anterior capsule. It goes towards 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided all around to get an adequate sized rexis. Hydrodissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and bases. Now this is a soft cataract in this case I am going to show use of my pre-chopper Mohanta's pre-chopper. It is a very useful instrument and let us see the design of this instrument. This is the instrument, the back part is blunt, the front part is sharp, tip length is 1.8 millimeter and this is the sustainer, tip length is 1.7, it has a ball, it is round bodied. The sustainer goes and then the pre-chopper goes the pre-chopper is placed just in front of the rexus margin at the main wound. Then the sustainer has to hook the equator. It does not go straight like this. It goes in this way. Now the two instruments are brought to each other and see how beautifully we can divide the nucleus into two hemonuclei. And then this heminucleus is chopped into two fragments and then we come to the other heminucleus and we can chop this heminucleus also into two fragments. So in this case we have divided the nucleus into four pieces and now I am rotating the nucleus clockwise and anticlockwise. And now we have to find the gap between pieces. As we get the gap between pieces, the pieces become free and they come to the tip easily. So two pieces emulsified. This is the third piece. Ultrasonic energy used is maybe 30 to 40 percent. Flow rate is 48 ml per minute and vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury. Lot of cortex remaining. Now it is whenever there is lot of cortex remaining, I use this coaxial irrigation aspiration. This coaxial irrigation aspiration is also from Oatley, Switzerland. Now I use hydro polish to have a clean posterior capsule. The irrigating jet of fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Now I am going to use irrigation and aspiration together because there is some fibers and there is a um, fiber at uh, 7 o'clock. Yes, it has come out. No, it is not yet and ultimately it came out bit of moxie in the anterior chamber 
and then the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is to be given. If we give a final lavage with BSS, chance of TAS is reduced. In my practice over the last 25 years, chance of TAS, incidences of TAS is negligible. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Hope it will encourage you to use pre-chopper in soft cataracts.